Welcome to another episode of GKTV. Today's subject is what will happen to Lim Guan Eng. Well, let me start by this proposition. If you're an MP and you are convicted, and if your sentence is not stayed by an order of court, then you cannot continue as an MP. You know what happened to Najib. But if the sentence is stayed, then you can continue as an MP. But the second principle you have to remember is, if you are convicted and your sentence is stayed, but an election is called, you cannot continue as an MP. So, the important point is whether or not an election has been called. But if there is no election, then you can continue. Let us consider this impending trial of Lim Guan Eng and see whether we can draw any parallels from the trial of Datuk Sri Najib. It seems to me that Najib took a tactical approach to his case. If the matter is delayed by various applications, then what will happen is, like a series of present cases which are now going on against various leaders of the previous regime. In Najib's trial, the strategy that was used was they would take every particular kind of objection that they could. And in this, they've succeeded. So no matter how fast the prosecution moved, it took two years. But at the end of the day, there is a conviction and there's a stay and Najib can still attend parliament. So that may be one route that Lim Guan Eng could take. But on the other hand, if he takes a very quick strategy, meaning he allows the trial to proceed against him very, very quickly and an election is called, if there is a conviction before the election, then the law does not allow Lim Guan Eng to stand for election. On the other hand, if no election is called, and Lim Guan Eng is convicted, whether he moves on with his case swiftly or slowly, as the case may be, then if he is convicted, he can take a stay and he can still attend parliament. Of course, if he is acquitted, then there is no problem. Now, the Prime Minister cannot delay the election for too long. Pundits assess the likely election date to be sometime at the end of this year or very early next year. It would also depend on the monsoons, school holidays, the availability of schools as election centres and so forth. As to the merits of what will happen to Lim Guan Eng and his charge, no one can say. It all depends on the evidence, doesn't it? If the evidence is firm, that's fine. If the evidence is infirm, then we ask ourselves this question. On what basis were the charges brought? There is a view that if a prima facie case can be made against Lim Guan Eng, then the prosecution is entitled to charge him. I have a different view. In my opinion, you cannot commence an action against someone in criminal law unless you have strong evidence that you can secure a conviction. So that remains to be seen. Dear friends, let me summarize what I said to you. If Lim Guan Eng's trial proceeds, it all depends on whether an election is called. If an election is called quickly, and if Lim Guan Eng is convicted before the elections, despite the fact that he's got a stay, he cannot stand for election. If he can get a stay and no election is called, he can continue as an MP. That is the position and I don't think any one of us can guess what's going to happen henceforward. We shall have to wait for the proceedings and for the trial to begin. Thank you very much. Have a good day. If you like this video, press like, subscribe if you haven't already. Please share this video widely. I would like to thank my friends Joe and my friend Adi Baya and 101 Paradise at Langkawi who have very kindly allowed me to use their location for this shoot. Thank you very much and have a good day. <laughs>